I'm Jennifer Angel. These are your stars for July Scorpio. Now let's have a look at your personal life. So Saturn is in your sign, has been for a while. It's like a almost a three year transit um, with its retrograde backwards and forth. And it's about to come out of this retrograde transit on the 8th of the month. Okay, so everything is just going to seem a little bit easier for you. You know, not so much of a hard slog. Things can start to go ahead now if you feel like they've been sort of sitting on the back burner a little bit. Let's not forget that Mercury is still retrograde though this month. And so uh, when Mercury is retrograde, it's a possibility for mix up and misunderstanding. So you want to make sure, you know, in all areas of your life, not just your personal area, that um, things, you have everything organized and you follow up with writing. Don't, you never want to assume anything with Mercury retrograde, okay? And don't take advantage of, of, of anyone or anything. Okay, so the last week of the month, Venus is going to move into your zone of good friends. So this is a great time to socialize and to just, you know, give energy out and to open yourself up and to be there for people who um, need a little bit of help and support. And if you're single, it's also a time when you can meet someone, okay? So you get out and socialize and just... Um, you can, you know, just a friend can introduce you to a friend and you think, oh my goodness, why haven't we ever met before? Okay, so um, be open. If you're looking for love, then certainly it's one of the times in the astral chart where you can be open to attracting somebody. Of course, if it's not meant to be, then if it doesn't happen, it simply means the timing is just not right now, okay? Now, on a professional note, the sun, our most powerful force, is going to move to your career zone on the 23rd of the month. And it'll just simply bring more light and energy. So, you know, with Saturn in your sign coming out of its retrograde and sun moving into your um, career zone, then things are just going to be a little bit lighter and brighter for you. Now, Venus is in this area for the first three weeks, which makes it a positive time to just connect with people um, and positive connections for work. And so it's a good time to get out and network, okay? So you want to get out and socialize uh, and you want to get out and network on a business level as well. Now, my angel advice for you this month is to try to take life as it comes a bit. You know, there's more to be revealed. So there's more happening behind the scenes. And what you'll see unfold this month is really only the start of what's to come, okay? Now, your numbers for the month are 2, 8, 16, and 18. I've left room there for you to put your own two lucky numbers in. Have a great month, Scorpio. I am Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching.